hope that by being able to bring a higher level, a higher standard of journalism to the game as it is right now, then we'd influence newsrooms to invest more time in getting journalists um, of a higher caliber or the caliber that's required to, to be able to invest that time in investigative reporting. Um, we're hoping that by actually doing it and by showing them that it can be done um, within the confines of Kenya, for Africa, for East Africa, for the country, that th there is not just talent, but a huge number of stories that are untold. And that way, by our example, we're hoping to be able to influence them. This land belongs to us. It doesn't belong to, it belongs to them. The challenges aren't just um, structural from the point of view of government. I mean, there's, there's private sector as well, and many times it acts like government. But there's also other more physical, more simple challenges, like just transport, being able to get from one point of a country to another, to be able to tell an important story. And that often leaves out large populations of people in different parts of even our, our country, um, who go for years and years without having their issues reported, much less investigated. And so those are some of the things that we're hoping to be able to cure with Africa and Sensei. Okay, anyone else that you think you might want to interview now? We're starting in Kenya, but the hope is that the program is going to grow and bring in more journalists from areas like these and areas in urban Africa that can really get to the heart of the stories that affect them, where they're affected, and speak direct to, directly to the public. White balance panel will show this camera is on the front that you're underneath. Also, you've got 3,100. Camera work often is something that lets down um, a lot of journalists, yeah, a lot of broadcast journalists. Technical capability to be able to handle uh, any camera really and, and shoot in such a way that in such a format, in such a style that would be appealing not just to local audiences but to international ones, which is what we're, we're aiming at, was lacking. And we thought that it was important to have the trainers go through some of the finer points. I never had someone to take me through the, the small, small details in the camera. And this after seven years, eight years, I get, some, I get lucky to be there. So I also thank uh, African Censor for the opportunity. I actually never expected to learn as much as I have, because even in day one, we learned so much how to script, how to use a camera, how to edit. It's also important for us to be able to aim higher. We need to enrich our skills. And we need to be able to continually improve ourselves so that we can consistently compete on a global scale doing African content as Africans. That's something really important to Africa and Sensor, that we must bring a global standard to the, the local and regional and continental reporting that we're doing. Six journalists have been killed. There's a hunger for the kind of information that we are passing along in this program. And with the next year and the next year and the next year, I'm sure it's going to get bigger, better, and probably even be something that affects mainstream journalism thinking around how to train their journalists.